All right, folks, it's going to take us into our fourth game of Week 13 here. We're going to have 19th-ranked Army, the Black Knights from West Point, traveling to South Bend, Indiana, to face 6th-ranked Notre Dame in a primetime game on Saturday night uh, at 7 p.m. The ESPN FPI has Notre Dame at 88% chance to win, and the spread is in Notre Dame's favor at 18.5. This game, I have a feeling, is going to end up very similar to the Notre Dame and Navy game. No disrespect to Army, and they've got a decent defense. So did Navy, but we saw Tulane just throttle them. Notre Dame did it just a few weeks ago. I made the mistake of going with the Goats in that one. I don't have the Knights in this one. Give me the Irish. I like Notre Dame to cover. I think they'll probably win it by at least three touchdowns. You know, I, I hate to go against the servicemen, but, man, Notre Dame, their offense, their defense, um, the, the service academies just – they haven't had it to hang with them this year. I've got the Irish on Saturday night in South Bend. Now, I do want to respond to you, and because obviously I'm going to make my pick here, but I'm going to start by responding and saying Army is not the same caliber team that Navy is. I think that Army is a step above them. Now, uh, I think that they're going to play Notre Dame much better than Navy did. I think that they're going to propel, prepare well for this game. Excuse me. Uh, but this game, they don't have home field advantage like Navy had. However, there is this curse where a group of five schools that come to Notre Dame and somehow get the win. Now, that's usually only in week two, right? And they, they're paying them like $1.5 million. Uh, so I will be picking Notre Dame here. And I, I, 18 and a half points is a lot. But I, I do think that Army will end up covering. But I'm picking Notre Dame to win this game. And the question you have to ask yourself, too, is with, with, with this game, if Army comes out and plays well and even maybe even covers – do they get dropped all the way out? Because at that point, they would only have one loss. Or, you know, is it, are they going to treat it like Tulane, whose only two losses are to Power 5 teams, high-ranked? Well, not really anymore, but because neither one of them are ranked because <laughs> it was Oklahoma and Kansas State. Um, but, you know, they, that's their only two losses. Are they going to treat it like that? Or are they going to fall all the way out? That'll be a question for the committee uh, next week. But I am picking Notre Dame here. Yeah, I mean, it's hard not to pick Notre Dame here, I think. You know, coming up to this week, I've kind of expressed already that I think Notre Dame's going to win this game. Uh, no offense to Army whatsoever. I just think that when it comes down to it, Notre Dame is the better team. Uh, we saw how they, they matched up against Navy, and yes, Army is a better team than Navy, but um, not that much better. And, you know, being at Notre Dame, um, it's a tough environment. And I think Notre Dame, too, defensively, they're – a little more talented and a little smarter on defense. Uh, so I think they'll be able to stop, you know, Army's offense pretty easily. Well, and I do want to respond quickly before we move on to our last game and just say that uh, I, I think that Notre Dame is really only a, uh, a – South Bend is only a tough environment when Clemson plays there. Uh, but we've seen NIU there. We've seen Marshall win there. Um, the only time that I've really seen Notre Dame have an electric crowd is for a night game when Clemson comes to town. This one is a night game, uh, so the atmosphere could be rocking. We'll see. Uh, however, I just wanted to say I do not think this is an unwinnable game for Army. If NIU can do it, I think that Army can come in and do it. Uh, they've been playing some good ball. However, I do think that the odds are in Notre Dame's favor. Uh, the, the, spets, the sports bettors think so too, uh, so that's where we are with that game. 